Okay, so I have my Scotch badge mounts. I have one for here when it's hot. It gets my phone out of the sun. I also have their camera, which uh, their camera is great, but the, the next app sucks. I just bought my radar detector if you don't want to watch videos on that. And I have two magic mounts. And I have this Garmin GPS here for my Garmin that I bought. I bought this for like 25 bucks. And it works great. It's got a 3D junction. It works amazing. It doesn't like my anchor power bank for some reason. So, and I also have their Scopes charger here, which you probably can't see, but it's got two 12 volt sockets and then two extra USB things. So I know everything's a mess here, but it works perfectly, I swear. So I have the GPS plugged in there, the Scotia one, and I have an anchor one over here. So I basically have five USB slots if I want to, which is crazy. But back to the point is I have this for my GPS, but it slides around my dash, and then my dash goes like this. I put it on here like so, and then it goes, and I drive in the GPS. Super annoying, right? So I'm like, oh, I can't deal. So this company called Lyco Gear... I looked at reviews because I'm like, I want a way to put my uh, GPS without sliding around stuff. So basically, they have a visor mount like so, and then you just move your GPS like this, and it comes with the piece that goes on the back of your GPS. Oh, it's telling me to agree. So it comes with that little round circular piece, which I think this one, they're just not that great on Garmin like a lot. It falls off the other one super easily. I'll show you. Let me uh, put you on my magic mount here. So, as you can see, in the Garmin, once it turns on, it's got, um, you'll see the antennas go up. Watch. It's pretty cool. It takes a while to get the signal because this thing is older, but once it does, it works false. And I'm also in my garage. So, after like a minute or so, you'll get full bars, which is nice. But the problem with this is like, I thought this was broken, so I ordered a new one, because look, it goes on way too easily, and then if you try and go like this, it just falls off. I've had it fall off a few times, where it's like, you try to adjust it, and it just comes off super easily. So, I'm like, well, I figured this little piece on the back was broken, right? So, I bought this visor mount, and just this clip itself is amazing, like, it does not come off on here, so... I'll show you. I, I've done this a couple times, so I don't want to break it because that would suck. So, that's the piece that goes in the back of your garment, right? This piece. So, I will show you the difference. Like, this one goes on there so solidly. God, that's hard to get off. And then, watch how easily this one goes on there. I can just basically... It basically, it's on and it falls off super easily, right? So, it's hard to do with one hand, but see how it goes on off way too easily? So, this piece is already better quality. Watch when I put it on now. Okay. Yeah, you really have to put force on it. Like, it's a strong piece. Oh, see that? That is not coming off. I don't have to worry about it coming off now, which is nice. I was afraid that putting my GPS up there because, you know, it goes on this thing way too flipping easily, which I'll show you again. It goes on there way, way too easily and comes off way too easily. So. so I was worried about having it up here, but now that it comes to the new piece on my back, and it's a, such a solid build, that, I mean, you can basically turn it wherever you want, which is nice. So... That's nice. If you really want to make it secure, you can like put like super glue epoxy, which I might do on the back piece, and then push it in. That way, this piece is not moving because that's the only piece that moves. But it's it's solid on there. Like now I see why the reviews are so good. This would be nice. Now it says you can put the GPS out of the way, but honestly, you can't. So <laughs> you just take your GPS off. You go somewhere that's not so great. But this will be nice. Yeah, you can face it towards you. And your GPS is, the main thing, it's out of the sun. So you don't want your GPS overheating. And if you're wondering about my LED bulbs, these are Sylvania LED bulbs. These are not, um, they're called Zevo bulbs, but they're not like the orange and, they have like a black and orange box. That's like their nicest version, but the reviews weren't good. So I got the one below that. It's like a white and blue one, and they're really nice. So I got, this one has one. 
it up here has two. And they're super easy to put on. They've been amazing. Even during the day, you can see the light on the car really great. So, especially now when people are like, you know, your car, if you're doing Uber, like my, like I couldn't even see in my trunk before. It's got one little bulb in there now, LED, and I can see stuff in my trunk, which is great. So, back to what I was getting distracted about is this is going to be nice, having my GPS here. And then I'll have to run this long cable that far anyway, so. So, if you want a good, decent GPS mount that hooks onto your visor, check out Lyco Gear, because... As you heard, that snap was insane.